I've just managed to get into a garage. There's lots of houses around, so I've got to be really careful. I'm going to have to be quiet when I come out of the garage. This garage gives me access to the back garden. I can tell from Google Earth that it's really, really overgrown. I'm hoping that I can get an entrance somewhere into this house. There's nothing at the front. So fingers crossed we find a way in. Well, I guess if you're watching this video, I did find a way in. Anyway, I'll show you where I am. I'm in the garage. It's absolutely packed full of stuff. I'm hoping the house is going to be similar. Looking, if it's anything like the garage, it's going to be fantastic. I'll show you where I am now and what we're about to explore. It was quite dark in here. I didn't want to get my torch out in case the neighbours saw the light coming through the garage door. But as you can see, it's absolutely rammed in here. There's stuff everywhere, even up above us and up in the rafters. There's stuff. <laughs> Lots of old stuff as well. And there's boxes full of stuff. There's a puppet there. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> uh, that's quite funny. This is what looks like a huge trunk here. Just got tools in there. So this is the, the garage, the back of the garage. Now when I go out of here, I'm gonna have to be really, really quiet. So there's a neighbouring property quite close. So I'll catch you in the garden. Look at the cobwebs. Oh, I've just noticed a skull above me, right above my head. Look at that, covered in moss, probably been here a long time, <laughs> what a start to the explore. Two gallons. Another one's there. Oh. Oh, it's so overgrown. There we go. get into the garden. Maybe if I can see down here. Inside. Fantastic. Let's show you the back of this house. Oh, it's so overgrown. Oh, I can just see the back here. Oh, oh. it's the windows. Look at the windows. Wow. It's all rotten. This uh, little glass thing I'm under. God, I 
can't even see through the back here. It's just too overgrown. It's a step ladders there. Right, let's get into the house. Well, I've managed to get in after climbing through an incredibly overgrown garden. I mean, um, what looks like a little utility room here which is very small, with an African drum, some old hats, pictures on the walls, Let's brighten this up a little bit. I've just had a quick look around this place and it's absolutely full but full of really nice things as well. There's lots of antiques. There's actually some incredible furniture. And someone's life. And look at this, this looks like a bath. It's a bath under there. All right, let's spin the camera around and show you what we're about to explore. So we're in kind of the kitchen at the moment. Just everything's left. I'm not sure what the deal is with this place at the moment, but we can try and work it out as we're going around. This is all wooden panelled out here. There's a lot of very old things in this place. The garden is literally at the windows. <laughs> As you can see. <laughs> okay, let's take you through to what I think could be the dining room. Nice old flooring. Let's give you a pan of the room. Everything's left, as you can see. There's even a really old fashioned, I guess it would be a clothes dryer above the fire here. But there's so many things left inside this place. Look, special reserve port. Pictures on the walls. I mean, look at that window, that's lovely with the, the sun rays coming out there. A very old biscuit tin there. <laughs> that looks like a pantry. Let's have a little look in the pantry. <laughs> Completely full. Wow. Look at all the stuff inside here. That's nice. The old scale there, look. Dulux handheld scale, hand household scale, even. Look at all the receipts they've kept over the years. Look at them all. Wow. Why would you keep all those? Uh, oh Mothballs. Look at this place though. Very nice. Can't believe how much stuff is here. Oh, look at that. I've just noticed there's a, there's a bell system in this place, look. So would, would that mean they'd have had servants, maybe? Looks like bedroom one, two and three and an intercom system. But extremely old. 
all china in the cupboards look what's that that's a russian doll a few probably inside there God, wow not sure if there's anything yeah the drawers are completely full obviously i can't go through all the drawers it will make this video about two hours long huh there's stuff all at the top you can see the greenery outside is right on the window it's a little Huh, what's that? It looks like some kind of radio volume battery tuning. God, that looks old. There's another old radio there. Nice old. Looks like a drawer in that one. 1883. Got some old umbrellas here. And you can just see the outside here. It's like, um, I don't know if you can see it on there. It's all collapsing and all overgrown. You can't even see the garden. That's the way I came in from down the side of the building there. This old photo of a gent there. all the books down there <laughs> but there's some really nice things left behind I mean look at that clock God, the detail on that Wow oh we've got a photo of a couple oh, this could potentially be the previous owners that we've got two I don't know what these are I'm not really sure what they are maybe just decorative metal things what a nice little room this is though all right let's carry on let's take you into the entrance hall of this place this looks like a tail off something horse equipment hanging up got a nice big entrance hall it's a bit full <laughs> got all the old mail on the floor there more books nice old mirror just stuff everywhere. There's some very nice furniture actually in here. Look at this. Cool. Wow. Somebody's shell collection over there. Hmm. Looks like this has got a drawer in it as well. Uh, we got here we got a, an old Kodak camera and a brownie number two nice painting on the wall huh. Tony Beatty 1988 hmm. oh my word look at that phone that's got to be the oldest phone I've ever seen it's even got the bells wow call exchange it says on it it's message little, little little message thing there as well but look at the bells on it all the old hats hanging up. 
covered in cobwebs. I don't think this place has been left a long, long time. Some of the food I looked at earlier was 2019. All right, let's check this other room out. This would have been the sitting room. Very nice. We're about to explore. We've got a small chandelier on the ceiling. We've got a piano here. Didn't even notice the piano. <laughs> There's pictures all over the walls. So this is Collard and Collard of London. <laughs> Some of these pictures of sailing boats and things like that. The record collection down there. Even the piano stool. Wow. You can open. Hmm. So even the plants are not quite dead, look. Yeah, I know that's like a cactusy thing, but it's, it must be fairly recent then that this place has been empty. Old copper kettle mm, covered in dust so it's definitely been empty a while cool. look at all the crockery and ornaments it's Winston Churchill times three in there Show you the fireplace. Oh, magnificent looking clock. Look at that. Behind a glass dome. The big lion on the top. Wow. You know, I've just noticed we've got Christmas cards here. To Shirley and David thinking of you. So this is Christmas. Uh, and we're in July now. So I wonder if it's the Christmas, maybe not the one just gone, but before that. We've got a very sweet desk here. Handkerchiefs. Look at this. It's even a feather, look. They wouldn't have written with that, would they? Maybe. <laughs> We've got an inkwell here and stuff. <laughs> You've got a nice painting here, actually, of a man painting. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, it's quite nice, that. It's quite well done. 1921. Another cabinet with shells in and all the best pieces. Let's have a little look. Ooh. Cool. Look at the stuff in here. Cool. Wow. Mm. Huh. Let's see what's in this. Ooh, that's neat. The drawer fronts fall down, look, to get access to the paperwork. Huh. Okay, we've got one more room downstairs. And it's probably my favourite room in the house. It's completely pitch black. Where the garden's covering the windows. But there's some absolutely lovely things in this room. Let's give you a pan. 
a grandfather clock. If I shut the light off a minute, look at that. That's the greenery. So close to the windows, you can't even see out. I mean, look at this furniture. <laughs> oh my word. I mean, this is the sort of thing you'd see in a French chateau on a Bros of Decay video. <laughs> Not in a small house like this. Look at it. Birds all carved on the top. Wow. Right, if I slowly spin the camera around, you can see this <clears throat> huge dresser. Cool. <laughs> Look at that. Little ivory locks. It's a very, very old one by the look of it. Elephant there, look. And the grandfather clock is beautiful. Cool. Wow. Not sure if we can open it. Get a better look at the dial. Somebody Aberdeer. All nicely painted, look. A nice painting as well there. Wonder if we can see inside. The old pendulum, look. Doesn't seem to want to tick anymore. We've got a fire guard here and a dog there. Got a nice copper hood back there as well. A little clock. Look at these big ornaments, metal ornaments up on top. Looks like something French written on it. There's pictures of boats everywhere. I've noticed. <laughs> and again, look at the bits in here. This looks like possibly the best silver in the place, look, all hidden behind the glass. Wow. Huh. Now that looks like a very comfortable chair. Cool. And that, look at that chair. It's got an anchor on it and two I don't know, like serpent things there. Oh. Like a butler's tree that folds up. Hmm. Look at these old glasses there. Set of glasses. Pens. Some inkwells here. Musical instrument. Another one there is a guitar. It's this furniture though, I can't look at the quality on it. Wow. Oh, see if we can open. Yeah, there's stuff inside as well. You've got boxes full of stuff. Champagne. And while we're down here, oh, you've got a you got a statue of a boy back there. And some kind of 
grass topped table. Look how thick the doors are. God, it'd be f worth a fortune. A cutlery box here. Guitar. More ornaments. We've got a picture of a girl there. Possibly a grandchild. And then we've got a dome with little birds in it. Bit of taxidermy. Quite like some of these old scenes. <laughs> Even the top of this has got all kinds of stuff on it. Nice picture. Wow, what a room though. Fantastic room. Okay, well I think we've done downstairs. I think we can start upstairs now. If it's anything like the downstairs, we're in for a treat. Can't imagine it being as full. Stained glass windows here. Nice high ceilings in this place too. So we met with a little chest on the landing area. A little look what's in here. Cream pointed shoes. It's like the shoe cupboard. Huh. And you've got a little fairy here. Put this under your pillow and see what the fairies bring. Interesting, there's something in there. Oh my word, there's a tooth. That's a real tooth. Ah, <laughs> no way. Oh, I wonder what the fairies would give for that. It's got the root on it and everything. <laughs> uh, I wasn't expecting to find that in there. Right, carrying on. I've just seen a, a shoe thingy to help you put your shoes on. Shoe horn. Okay, some big old furniture in this place. As you can see, the ceiling is collapsed. The wallpaper is just completely hanging down. And it's not going to be long until the rest collapses, I think. And we've actually got two lights in this place, which is a bit strange. We've got two beds in here. Maybe this was the guest room. Let's see what we can find. We've got a huge wardrobe here. Completely full of clothes, hats in the boxes there. More hat boxes here, look. <clears throat> Something under here. Oh wow, look at that. It's a filing cabinet, but a really old fashioned one. I'm guessing these all pull out. And then when you're finished, you use them use the roller to shut it up. Oh, they don't make stuff like that anymore. Huh. That is old. Huh. Something interesting there. 
Not sure what. Diaries everywhere. What's this? Super Chromonica. Harmonica. Oh, it looks a. Uh, God, look at that. Wow. God, look at the condition of it. Huh. Wow. That's very nice. <laughs> nice to see in that condition. God, look how long these drawers are. Cool, we've got jewellery in this one. Air slides. More jewellery back there. <laughs> cool. And something in here as well. This looks like the sewing area. Nice little uh, seat there. The trunk under it. I can't resist trunks. Look at that. Covered in dust. You love these things. What could be anything inside it? That's a hoover. Oh. <laughs> what a letdown. I can't even work out the, the make of it. World famous something Electrolux. Blimey, that is an old one. It's even got a leather handle. Probably the oldest one I've ever seen, actually. That. Not what I was expecting in an old trunk, but okay. <laughs> Guitar on the wall there. Some photos here. Huh, a ballerina. Oh, they're quite nice. Three different, three different ballerinas. Hmm. Hmm. Absolutely hammering down outside. If you can hear it on camera, I'm not sure. And we've got another interesting box here that says stamps on it. Oh yeah, that's somebody's. Wow, look at all those. Somebody's pride and joy stamp collection there. Whew. Bit of leather there. A certificate. This is to certify that Hannah Davis was examined by Her Majesty's Inspector and passed in the fourth standard on May the 27th, 1881. Wow, that's quite an old uh, certificate to keep. Right, let's get into the next room. We'll go in this one. See what this one's got in store for us. Another really old picture on the wall. Quite a small room, but oh my word, it is so full. Let's give you a pan of the room. <laughs> Look at all the books. <laughs> and stuff all over the bed. in here. Looks like a painting on glass. <clears throat> Lots more paperwork and pictures. 
I don't even think I can get down there. To be honest, it's uh, it's so full in here. It's a lovely little desk though. Books everywhere. This is definitely the book room. Oh wow. A little desk. Huh. A little inkwell. And we've got a one of these ladies puffy things. Whatever you call them. New Testament there. I love the way that closes. It's just too much, <clears throat> too much to go through in this place. The video would be too long and you wouldn't want to watch it all. <laughs> so I've got to try and do it quick, but I like showing things in detail. So please bear with me. more sewing things in there and there and you've got a huge wardrobe here I wish I could stand back further from it but I can't again full of clothes and shoes Still no idea about these people that lived here though. I'll show you there's a very small bathroom there. No need to really go in there. And we've got another slightly bigger bathroom here. <laughs> Not sure why there's stuff all in the bath. We've got one more room up here. Look at this one, old picture. Huh. Last room of the house, guys. Let's see what this one's got. Wow. Oh, it's nice and full. This are uh, an optician's eye thing there. That's bizarre. Wow, what a nice room to end in now. Nice old table here. loads of stuff under the bed old trunks and chests even the bed itself is an old iron frame let's see what we've got here an old pipe paperwork old paperwork temple I'm not sure what that is if we can get in. Oh, look at that. All the precision drawing equipment by the look of it. Paperwork. Right, where do we start? see the dust on things but it's not too dusty like it's not been that long I'm thinking maybe two years abandoned look at the old fire there 
and I'm not sure who this guy is. Look at that old light. Wow. Huge, huge furniture. This is the man's stuff here. Nice furniture though. Look at the carving on it. It's a bit bizarre that. I'll show you the garden now. <laughs> you can see how overgrown it is. That is the garden. That's the way I came in. Just around this little point here. But <laughs> yeah. Let's see what's on here. So we've got a little, can't get it out on one hand. There's a bottle of something. Gardenia. London. I don't even know what that is. If anybody knows, I'd like to know. jewellery in there. We've got a really old drinks bottle. Hmm. Hmm. That's a, a leather Snow White and the Seven Dwarves wallet there. <laughs> old, very old bag. Very old. Christian Dior talc. Hmm. Look. Look at that. Need rates of tax. 2009 to 2010. So, yeah, that's a long time ago. Coats fast colour. What's this? Silver Jubilee souvenir, 1910 to 35. A bit more jewellery there. A compact. It's a wishbone, like a, like a gold looking wishbone on a chain. <laughs> more jewellery, it's a tiny photo here. Look at that. Wow, it's so small. Is there a cameo there? It's quite a nice one, actually. Watches. What's that? ER. Photos. It's quite a lot of photos in here, actually. And you've got this lovely chest of drawers, lovely bow front to it. Empty. More books. Bits and pieces. Watches. A bit of money. Toilet roll. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Huh? Is that real? A girl on a rocking horse? Can't tell if it's a photo or a drawing. And then on the other side of the room, you've got probably the biggest wardrobe in the place. The bed's full of just stuff. Our wedding. Our wedding, 1968. Well, this slides. Let's see if we can see them. I can't really. Oh, hang on. There. If I get it on the light. 
can just, just about make it out. Huh. 1968. Let's get the light back on. Hmm. Well, well. It's a very old looking handbag. Look at this thing. Oh, I was here in there. Oh, look at that. It's a big locker here. Look at that. Ooh. So this probably would have been kept from an ancestor that has passed away. You can see it's clearly been just cut there. Ooh, I'm not sure what I think of things like that. It's a, ooh, I know before photos, you didn't really have much to keep as a memory, but keeping locks of hair is just uh, something I don't like about it. Look at this, huge thing. The walking cane down the side here, look. It's really old photos. Lovely frame actually. But look at the photos. Very old. There's a matching one there. D Davis. Tobacco. Oh, wow. Oh, I think we found some teeth. Dentures. Yeah, we've got teeth in there. Like a plaster molded set of teeth. God, there's so much stuff in this place. I apologise again if this video is a bit long, but when you find places like this, that are untouched, not vandalised. You've got to film them as much detail as possible. They're great. I actually love places like this, all the old stuff that you don't see these things anymore. Right, what's this last wardrobe got for us? Well, it's full. It's a full one. Oh, wow, look at that Bible. Let me just stand back and show you how full this cabinet is. Oh, my word. So look at this Bible. Wow, let me get it out. Look at the hinges on it. Oh, that's so heavy. Gotta have a little look at this. And the hinges on it like that. That's gotta be from the 18 something, surely. And what have we got here? Memory doth ever hold thoughts more precious far than gold. So this is some kind of death oh yeah this is from the cemetery look God, that looks really old 12th of october 1905 maybe or six 1905 or six that that was done Gotta be really careful with this holy Bible. I mean, wow. Family portrait galleries. Cool. That's a lovely thing though. Let me put it back. It's so heavy. That's crazy heavy. We've got an Egyptian looking Just full. Old brush. We've got here, look. There's a money box. It's 
See the slit in it? Something. Ooh, we've got an album. We've got a photo album. Even this has got a nice clasp on it as well. Oh, look. Wow. Wow. There's something interesting about looking at these photos from this kind of era where people couldn't really smile much in the photos and they all look depressed. I think it's because a photo wasn't done in a split second. They couldn't move for a few seconds or it blurred. So they just all had these solemn looks on their faces. God. Wow. Ah, nice to see actually. Really nice to see. I wonder if they're ancestors of people that lived here. There's a thimble in there and a key. Well, I could carry on. I could carry on and go through all this stuff, but can't the video will be too long dress patterns bags this stuff all at the top oh well, I think we'll end it there we've done the house wow well I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did apologies for it being such a long video but when the place is as full as it is with such nice things it's gonna take a while I mean I can't rush these kind of places I and probably you want to see everything in them so I hope I did you proud and I hope I covered pretty much everything the furniture in this place is like something out of a castle so maybe their ancestors have handed down some really nice things maybe they lived in a bigger house than this one and they've inherited some really nice stuff I hope it gets saved. It would be sad to see it get worse and in a more rundown state than it is now. The photo album, I loved that. It was nice to see some forgotten faces that probably haven't been looked at for a long, long time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you on the next one soon. Bye.